Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we are going to make a very simple lariat necklace using um, products from the August 2020 bargain bead box. So if you want to make this necklace, here is what you're going to need. I'm using three of the agate beads. Um, that's all I had left. <laughs> I actually have these two and thought about mixing them. I could actually do that. We'll, we'll look and see. I may do that. So I've got, these are all I have left of these beads out of the box. And then I'm using um, some of the little sea opal rondelles that were in the box. I'm using one of the toggle clasps. Um, I have several crimp beads here and a lobster, or no, I'm sorry, clamshell cover. And a length of Coriana chain. And let me measure this and I'll tell you how long it is because I am not sure. So let me look here. All right, so... I've got 12, and I put this up around my neck and measured it, but I didn't measure it on a roller. 24, about 37 inches, it looks like. This is twisted, about 39 inches. Okay, so Coriana chain, about 39 inches long. Okay, so this is super, super simple. I mean, it doesn't get any more simple than this, really. Um, it's almost really not tutorial worthy, but I'm going to do it anyway. So all we're going to do is we are going to create some floating beads on this side, and then we'll do some floating beads down the lariat part that's going to go through this. So get your tools. You're going to need your tools and get your crimp beads and the round part of your toggle, because that's what we're going to be using first, and these sea glass, um, or sea opal beads, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to decide how far up you want these to go. I want them to go pretty far up, um, so I'm going to take a crimp bead. Yeah, I am going to do that. No, you know what? I'm just going to crimp the bottoms of them. So go ahead and put on your first bead. I couldn't decide if I wanted to crimp both top and bottom or just bottom. I'm just going to crimp the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go up about, I don't know, what how many inches is this? Get my handy dandy ruler out here. This is about eight, nine inches. I'm going up about nine inches. Okay, then I'm going to take a crimp bead. And I'm going to put it on. I'm going to go right underneath the bead there and I'm going to crimp it. Just crimping it flat. I'm not doing anything fancy. Just going to crimp it flat. Just like this. Okay. All it's doing is stopping the bead from falling down. See? Okay. And then I'm going to decide where I want the next one, how far apart I want them to go. I'm going to put it on and do the same thing. And I'm not crimping the top because when you have this on, the gravity is going to pull them down. They're going to hang. I mean, they're not going to, you know, go too far. And they can't go too far anyway because of this one. But, so I'm not crimping the top. I'm just doing the bottoms. There's no sense really in doing the top. I mean, you can if you want to. But um, on this necklace, they wouldn't go anywhere anyway. Except for that top one. And once you're wearing it, he's going to, gravity's going to hold him where he needs to be. So I won't worry too much about that. Okay, so, whoops. These are so teeny tiny. Where are my glasses? I don't have my glasses on. Let me put my glasses on. That's one issue that I'm seeing right now. <laughs> there, that makes things so much better. Isn't it amazing how you wake up one day and all of a sudden you can't see? Like, I could see perfectly fine without my glasses until one morning I woke up and all of a sudden I can't see. I can't read anymore. I don't know. It just happened overnight. Okay, I'm going to crimp this one down. I want it to be about... I don't know. I'd say about this far below the other one. So crimp it down. And see when you when you put it on, they're gonna they're gonna fall down and hang where they're supposed to. Next one. And I'm just eyeballing this. I mean I'm not measuring. You can measure if you want to to get them perfect. Um, but I'm kind of just eyeballing it. Let's go ahead and put another crimp bead. Whoops. I don't know if they put a, a just a ton of stuff in this month's bargain bead box or I don't know, but I have still got a lot of stuff left over from it and I have made a lot of stuff already. So I'm like, I feel like the, the more I make, the beads are like multiplying or something. 
<laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> but um, Yeah, I've got still got a bunch of beads left and I'm running out of ideas to make things. <laughs> So that's when you resort to a memory wire bracelet. <laughs> when you're completely out of ideas and you've got a bunch of beads left, you're like, okay, memory wire bracelet it is. So, Okay, so there's three. And I'm just going to go all the way down this doing this exact same thing. Just making sure that they're fairly evenly spaced, if I can. And just putting a bead and a crimp underneath it and crimping it so that it kind of float, the beads kind of float. I'm going to go all the way down this side. Now you don't have to go up as far as I did um, if you don't want to. I just kind of wanted to. I want to make it look, it's going to have an asymmetrical look to it. And I don't know why my camera is turning orange and then back clear again. I have no idea. Watch it. I have no clue. I have had more trouble with the camera and the video and all that stuff lately. It's just been ridiculous. <laughs> I've had so many issues. So I don't know why it's turning orange. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to Google that and see if I can figure it out because it's yet another problem I'm having with my camera. Oh. It's been non-stop with the camera lately, and I can't, just can't seem to get it together. I don't know, you know, I don't know what the issue is. I was having sound problems, and then now that seems to have resolved itself, and now I'm having all kinds of other problems with the video. Storage space in my phone, like it was recording, it would record for like six minutes and stop, and then I would start it again and it would record for like 34 seconds and stop and I was having to merge like 20 videos <laughs> together <laughs> to get one video it was ridiculous <laughs> so yeah I don't know just having a lot of a lot of issues with the camera and I don't know if any of you guys know I had actually I video with my phone because that's all I've got but I'd actually wanted to buy a good video camera but I don't want to spend $800 so if any of you guys know of a good camera video camera for filming things like this tutorials and you know up close things let me know because that's you know I my limit would you know I don't want to go up to like $800 for a camera but I mean I know it would be a good investment but I just can't do that right now so I don't know if you guys know of any good cameras that I've looked on YouTube, I've looked on Google, I just can't seem to figure it out. I don't know, I'm having issues. So, it's crazy. Alright, I'm just continuing down the row here with my crimps. I think this crimp has a crimp inside of it. A big crimp with a small crimp in the middle. It does, so let's set it to the side because I don't want to fight with it on camera. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Well, okay, there we go. I was like, where'd it go? I lost it for a second. Okay. See, now the camera looks great. Watch this. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Never had it do that before. And it's funny how, you know, I can video using the same camera for months and months and months and then all of a sudden it starts doing something weird you know just all of a sudden out of the blue um it's never done that before and it just starts doing weird things i don't know so anyway all right so we're just going down the row here with these um, a bead and a crimp a bead and a crimp oops about right there Oh, and I meant to update you guys. I've had several people ask me. My neighbor's daughter that was missing the other night, they did find her. They found her at about midnight. <laughs> She'd been gone since 3.30 in the afternoon. She was all the way across town at somebody's house. I don't even know where, who she was with. But um, when the police got got there, she actually ran from them. I mean... <laughs> she is something else but um they did find her and she's home safe thank god <laughs> and 
I don't know. They need a lot of prayer, though, still. They're just struggling, I think. And I'm really, really glad that I don't have younger children in this time that we live in. I think it would be really difficult to raise a ch children in this, you know, society and the times that we're living in. So I feel sorry for them just because, you know, it's got to be very stressful. And when I was a kid, we didn't have all the stuff thrown up in our faces that these kids have today. I feel sorry for teenagers in this this society right now. It's got to be a hard time to live and be a teenager. So, anyway, she is home safe, and we're thankful for that. And she was over here. She was the one that was on the porch with the spider, if you watched my last video. <laughs> that was her. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I didn't... Um, that's one reason that when she started screaming, I was like, I didn't know what she, you know, you just never know what's going on with her. And so I was like, what is it? I opened the door. She's screaming not to open the door, but I opened the door and there was a gigantic spider out there. I mean, like huge. Alrighty. And this is what we've got. So this, this is turning out pretty. Um, it's very dainty. I love this month's box. I really did. I mean, I, I know I keep saying that, but I just really feel like it's elegant. And I just think the stuff that you can create with this one and the color scheme, it just looks so, um, all the stuff just looks so dainty and so, I don't know, elegant. Elegance was a good name for it, but I really have enjoyed it this month. I'm interested to see what comes next with their box, with the next box. Because what is it? It'll be August. Wait, it'll be September's box. Yeah. What month are we even in? I'm sorry. I've lost track of time. Um, Yeah, September's box. I'm interested to see what they do. If they do like a fall theme or um, what they're going to do with that one. Okay. All right, so I've got a bunch of these on here and crimped, and I'm going to put one more on here, just like this, and then I'm going to take my, I'm going to have to grab some more crimp beads, just one second, I ran out, and I'm going to need some for the other side. Look at them all. Isn't this terrible, guys? This is how I store my crimp beads. <laughs> Literally, they're all just in there. <laughs> so I have to, like, grab out a handful and then pick out what I want. <laughs> I know, it's a terrible, terrible thing. I started this before I really knew what I was doing and beating. And, you know, I just didn't realize that this was a grave mistake. And... So, I've just never changed it because I haven't wanted to go through here and sort them all. That is just far too much work. And so, I just keep on putting them in there. <laughs> but, it's really bad. You should not store your crimp beads all together, all the same, all sizes, all colors, everything in the same container. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? If you're new and starting out, don't do that. <laughs> it's bad. You have to, like sort through them piece by piece and then if you have small ones they get up inside the big ones like it this one did it's terrible okay all right we're gonna put our lobster or our i keep calling this a lobster clamshell on here and i can see that one thing i left out that we're going to need is jump rings um sorry i didn't think about them for some reason but yes we will need some little gold jump rings so i'll grab that here in just a second Okay, so you're going to put your crimp on. You put your clamshell on, then your crimp. You want to move your crimp down to the end. And crimp it closed. Just like this. Okay. Then move your clamshell down. Pull on it. Make sure it's secure. Let me crimp it a little bit better. I don't trust them. I usually use my glue, but I didn't get it out. So just crimp that down real good. Okay. And then you're going to close up your clamshell. OK. 
Okay, just like this. Okay, now grab a couple of jump rings. So sorry, I should have realized we needed those. These are teeny weeny ones, and I'm going to use this teeny weeny one. If I can get one out. Okay, now grab my other pliers because these are really tiny and it takes a bit of concentration on my part <laughs> to get this on here. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We are going to take the jump ring and we are going to hook the round part of our toggle on there. See what I mean? Takes me some concentration when I'm working with things that are this tiny. All right, that's the same on both sides. I was just checking to be sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I love these tiny jump rings, I really do, but I think I'm gonna get a bigger one for this just because um, I'm looking at that little one and it is quite thin. This one's a little thicker. I don't know that I wanted to put one that thin on there crimp bead floating around. Okay, so we're just going to attach this on here. Yeah, this one's a little thicker. I think it'll be a little more sturdy. Close it up just like this. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Got this whole side of our necklace done with our um, toggle thing attached. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. Now this can be tricky. I have to think about this a little bit <laughs> because I want to make sure, I'm going to grab some more of these, I want to make sure that the lariat part goes through here correctly. Okay, so I want the chain to go down through here and I'm going to attach my beads here. Okay, but this I need to make sure goes through the right way. So I'm going to put it through here like this and I want the bar to go on this side just like this okay so when it hangs it's gonna hang like this with this part coming out okay so now we're gonna go ahead once you've got that set right um, and I don't I mean this will fit back through here but I just like to go ahead and put it through and make it look like it's going to look so I can see how it's going to look and decide how many beads I want and that kind of thing you don't have to do this before somebody comes on and is like you don't have to put that I know you don't have to <laughs> but I like to do it this way because it helps me to envision <laughs> um, you know it just helps me to see how it's gonna go okay so that's why I'm doing it that way all right so now we're gonna put our beads on here and I'm gonna alternate these bigger beads and some of the sea glass or the sea opal beads okay so let's see here let me do one of the let's do a sea opal bead first okay so just pull it up there and put on a crimp bead and crimp underneath it just like we've been doing okay just like this and I just want to make sure there we go I'm not gonna leave too much hanging out but okay so there's one now I'm gonna put one of the bigger the agates on bead underneath it and I may put these I'm not going to put these real far apart just about the same as the top as we did up there okay so there's our agate I'm going to do another sea opal Move this down about right there. My next agate bead. Okay. 
another sea opal. If you can hear Chris talking, he's working right now. I've got to get ready to go to work here in just a few minutes. Okay, the next agate bead. Okay, and lastly, one more sea opal. Now, we've got a little bit hanging out, so I don't know. Let me look and see if I want to uh, I think I will trim a little bit of that off. Where'd my cutters go? Okay, so I'm just going to trim a little bit of it off. Probably like that. Okay, so here you have it. This is it. It is our um, Lariat style necklace it just goes right over your head and hangs just like this let me put the bar right like it's supposed to go and this guy goes over here okay so there it is it hangs just like <laughs> trust me when it's on your body it's gonna hang right it keeps flipping <laughs> okay and you know what you can do if you want to um, and I may do that just to keep it from flipping around is go ahead and crimp right up here too. Except for you can't do that after you've already finished unless you want to cut. I may do that. I may cut and finish the necklace because I didn't, I don't want this to float. Is it going to float? Well, it's not really going to float. I mean, it's going to hang like this when you have it on. So, I guess it's not a big deal. Um, let me put it on and see. Yeah, once you put the bar through here, it's going to stay, I believe. I'm just trying it on to see how it fits, how it works. Yeah, once you put the bar through, it's going to stay there. It's not going to matter if you have it attached or not. I like to kind of attach them just so that it doesn't float around a lot, but I should have put a crimp bead and didn't on the top of this. So, you know, you can do that if you make it. You can put a crimp bead up here just to keep this the bar from floating. Um, but it is going to, when you have it on and you put the bar through there, it's going to hang right. So you're okay. Um, and you could always take a jump ring, I guess. We could always take some kind of a ring and attach it. Yeah, but I think it's fine. Um, I kind of like being able to take that in and out if I want to. So um, anyway, that is our Lariat style necklace. It's very simple to make and really doesn't take very much time either. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I still have a lot of beads left from this month's bargain bead box and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. Um, maybe I'll end up with one more tutorial here. We'll have to see. But anyway, you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm going to go get ready for work, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!